thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm from the north of England. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, it's a small town called uh, Warrington. You probably don't know. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's where Kerry Katona's from. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, unlike her, I didn't leave school at 16 to become a lap dancer. <laughs> Although saying that, it's better than going up and down a, light, a mine shaft for a living, which was potentially an option for me, but I thought to myself, you know, being a tunnel digger, that'd be boring. <laughs> 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 I thought about um, maybe trying to pursue a career in, uh, as, a, as a bounty hunter, you know? Um, if you're good at it, it'd be rewarding. <laughs> okay, not quite as good. <laughs> uh, I thought about actually being a chef for a little while, and um, but during my teens I developed this thing called... Um, my agoraphobia, I'm not really allowed to say it properly yet, but um, <laughs> it's actually a fear of cooking. Um, and it was a funny time growing up, I didn't really have anybody to talk to about it um, and kind of, you know, work, work through it. Um, my dad was, was never around before he left, he was, he was at the pub every night. My mum drove him to it. <laughs> <laughs> leave us and, uh, you know, abandoned us and left, left my mum. Um, she was worried that I might get into, you know, a bit of trouble at school, um, maybe fighting, um, a bit of crime perhaps, maybe even drugs, but I was put off drugs for life when I saw a smackhead farmer searching for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, um, you know, got my head, got my head down at school and really applied myself. And um, I remember, I remember really um, had a oh, loved history, had a real passion for it, and um, a strange admiration, if you like, for, um, for Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll tell you, it didn't go down very well in Mr. Goldstein's class. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand up and said, uh, but say, you've got to give Hitler his due. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a favourite of mine was uh, was chemistry, actually. I remember about um, learning about the periodic table. I was in my element. <laughs> but it was um, it was home economics where I kind of developed this sphere of cooking, and um, it was a it was a funny one, really. Like you know, get in that class and kind of look around, and it's a big like multiple kitchen the kitchens all put together. I don't know if you remember, but. Um, and I was kind of a bit, like, found it a bit daunting, all these appliances and utensils, and you look around at the big block of knives that, you know, all stood to attention, like there's some sort of culinary hit squad, all with their own different skills, and home economics 101, chopping an onion, so I go wading in, pick up the biggest knife I can find, know what it's like as a lad, and then <laughs> chopping away, and next thing I know, I'm getting a little bit teary. <laughs> And uh, I just hear this. What you crying for, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better man up, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, let us start. Stop doing that. Knife goes back, all right, where it came from. Um, next thing you, you know, preparing some meat and choose a different knife this time, unbeknownst to me, it's a vegetable knife, and he's all like, <gasps> Stop it! <laughs> you know, I'm not cut out for this. This big boy over there, you know. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> and then, um, it's, it's funny, because uh, despite that, I, I kind of found that um, the knives that had a better relationship, or, you know, what have you, is um, that one with, you know, with the wheelie blade, because at least you know what he, what, what that one's for, and he's all like, 
I cut to spicy beef and pepperoni. I'm the pizza guy. <laughs> kitchen inspire you so you know fine but maybe we look around and see this ladle on the surface and he's doing it the big and who's angry let's make some sick a casserole some hot pot some soup ain't nobody want no soup meat motherfucker Bonjour. Meet. I am the burning man. I will burn anything I see. A fish. A little bunny rabbit. A cow. <laughs> Pursuing a career as a chef was probably not really the uh, one for me. <laughs> the, um, the one lasting memory that I've got of, um, of home economics was that I actually only got into it for, um, for a girl. And um, I hear these days that she's, um, she's, actually, she's actually a tampon tester. Look up, come. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.